All right, Slackmeister fans, continuing with the VHS uh, movies uh, not available on DVD. This one's called uh, A Gemini Affair, starring Marta Kristen from Lost in Space. All I can say is hubba hubba. Let's check it out. First time in L.A.? I always had two ambitions. It's Marta Kristen. New York and Hollywood. And I just flew in from New York. Visiting your family? No, a friend. I haven't seen her in years. You don't look old enough for years. We grew up together, like in Duffy, Indiana. So, a cab driver takes her to her friend Julie's. Julie! I'm sorry, Jessica. Julie! Julie's. Jessica! Jessica! Marta Christa. You look fantastic! You went to take a cab. I wanted to meet you. I didn't want to trouble you. Trouble? Your hair is lighter. Julie's impressed. It's, it's just it's too dark. Oh, wow. You've got a pool. A real live pool. Things aren't exactly the as they seem, though. My life is Herman, because he never wants anything. Jessica's not as famous and well off as Julie thinks. But I have a lot of temporary friends who take care of me. Read between the lines, prostitute. Oh, I see. Julie, you know men love to spend their money. Well, I figure as long as they're spending it, why not on me? Julie's going in for a screen test. Oh, yeah. I already called a cab. Oh, I just wanted to talk. So talk. What if the test isn't any good? What if they don't like me? What if... Julie, don't be ridiculous. You... Uh, what is it? Lights in the jungle. I'd like to make one of people fucking... Uh, mm, I don't judge her, I'd give it to. Jessica's a little rough around the edges. Look at the time! Some pool time! <laughs> hey, the, I did my test! Tell me, tell me! <laughs> they loved me, everybody said I made them sex <laughs> Jessica has phone sex clients well, also. Screen test results. You asked to see my test a second time? It was so nice the day I did the test. When will I hear? I said, when will I... Of course I'll be patient. What else can I be? The housekeeper. It's not right the life you two lead. I knew about women like you back home, but I never had to be around you. Really? It's not right. With the, the telephone calls and the men, it makes me feel dirty just coming here. Hey, I don't know if Julie has the power to do so or not, but she That's fires the maid. Dear Mrs. Wilson, now please leave. Don't call us, we'll call you. Trash! One more word and you'll be the sorriest cleaning lady who ever lived. So what did you do? She ended up going on a date with, like, a producer. Then a hamburger, but the movie took away my appetite. Then we went up to Holland Drive. Maud. She ended up sleeping with the guy, but it apparently didn't do her any good. I understand. Sure, it was always just a chance. So here I am. I know you're the best. Jessica calls in Inez, a new agent. <laughs> My friend says you're the best, too. <laughs> Doesn't your friend talk? I don't know what to say. Go along with the times. What do you mean? Anything goes nowadays. Uh, have you ever worked nude? No. Would it bother me? 
It depends. Julie gets delusioned with Hollywood and she's running out of money. She has fifty dollars left to her name, so she decides it's time to go back to Indiana. TW reservations, please. Again, Jessica. She doesn't want her to go. I don't need any more cheery little bits of advice from you. I've called him all I'm going to. The only thing left to do was to fuck him. Well, why didn't you? That's your trade, not mine. I smell a cat fight coming. I called that one. Biting. They kiss and make up. I'd like to stay a little longer. And I need the money, so what's the difference? I've done it for love. I've done it because I felt sorry for the guy. I've done it because I wanted it. So what's the difference? I'll do it for the money. Prostitution, here she goes. An intimate drink. Then we go to the hotel. And when Woody's so horny, he can't stand it anymore, he'll say, Jessica. Just about that time, darling. <laughs> so there you go. Double date. About that time, darling. Mm -hmm. Two rooms or one. Come on, Woody. Alright. Jessica does sleep with the guy, but then she starts crying afterwards. Once they're back at home, she's so distraught and Jessica tries to comfort her, which leads to a lesbian scene, which is incredibly steamy, but I can't show much to you. After they make love, uh, Julie freaks out about it, gets dressed and just charges out of the house. Jessica eventually catches up with her, though. Julie, are you okay? Oh. Julie, come on. Are you all right? Yes. Where are you going? I don't know. Nobody else in the world knew Julie goes on to tell her a story about a girl they knew growing up named Amanda. I just didn't have any more excuses, so I said, sure. Okay. We started walking around the old mill. Story involved watching next to me so we could both see. Amanda's brother have sex through a barn door. She started moaning almost before he touched her. Love and saw. He was so big. It was the first time I'd seen a man, and I really started to feel funny. I was embarrassed that Amanda was there watching me. Crazy. Oh, Lord. It turned into a lesbian. I heard someone else en moaning. Encounter. And I realized it was me. With Amanda. Amanda took my hand. She was shaking. Maybe I was, I don't know, except everything was happening at once. And they started to climax. I felt Amanda's hand on me. She pulled on my pants. But so gently. I couldn't control myself. Hey. Hey, wait a minute, Julie. What happened just happened. I didn't do you, and you didn't do me. And Julie, you don't have to run away. Huh? And some people are crazy, and some people aren't. And it all fits neatly and nicely into some fucking little cubby hole in some nice little orderly room with 12 locks on the door. And when two women fuck each other, they must be bull dykes. Oh. Everybody knows lesbians seduce each other. That's what it says in the fucking magazines. That's sarcasm. 
Anyway, Jessica now has a date set up to take her to Vegas. Driving along to the airport. Oh? Woody said hello. Hi to him. He wants me to meet him in Vegas tonight. Oh? He's got some meetings, but they'll be over early. When I get back, I want you to be the biggest star in Hollywood. You just have a good trip. And she can pull that off in two Did days? You? If it's really nice there in one stay a few extra days or more, I'll be fine. But the next day, she decides to take a cab and leave. And guess who her cab driver is? Our old friend, George Buckflower. Fucking son of a bitch, you're gonna kill this boat! I'm sorry, man. My wife always tells me I got a garbage mouth. I know it ain't right to cuss in front of ladies. Honest. That's our film. All right, let's talk about a Gemini affair. It's a movie that I originally um, had on a beta. No, it was a VHS tape. I rented it from a place called Vid Video in Two Rivers, Wisconsin, um, back around summer of '89, maybe. Um, don't know if I ever watched it at the time, and maybe I saw part of it. I don't know, but I ended up seeing it years later uh, when I retaped it. And um, it's actually not a bad film. Um, it's probably most remembered for, if it's even remembered at all, for Marta Kristen, who was uh, one of the daughters on TV show Lost in Space in the 60s. She plays uh, Julie in this movie. She's the star of the film. And it's remembered for a, a um, an erotic uh, lesbian uh, scene, which she has with her co-star, Kathy Kirsch, I think is her name, plays uh, Jessica. Anyway, uh, Julie has come from... Um, her, She's come out to Hollywood to visit her friend, uh, Jessica, who lives out there. Jessica lives in this big mansion right now. It turns out it's not her mansion, though. She's actually kind of like a high-priced prostitute, which Julie finds out when she gets there. So she just is basically watching the place for somebody. So anyway, uh, Julie's out there. She's going to have a screen test, which she eventually does, and she goes pretty well for her. Um, and then she ends up sleeping with one of the producers or something. Uh, but ultimately, she gets rejected. She doesn't get a part, and then she feels kind of dirty, like, he just kind of used me, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, Hollywood's a tough town. I guess that's what happened, right? Um she feels so rejected about not getting getting uh, a part that um, um, she ends up getting uh, uh, comforted by Jessica, and then the two end up having sex on the bed. And uh, honestly, you know, I, I hate to sound pervy or anything, but it is a, quite an erotic, steamy scene. It really is. Um, we have full frontal nudity by, by both actresses here, and um, the scene itself is very quiet. There's no uh, soundtrack or anything going on, so it just adds to the touch of realism to it. But anyway, it's a good scene. So again, that's what this movie's probably remembered for. Anyway, the next uh, that night, actually, after they make love, uh, Julie is freaked out by it, then she takes off running into the night. Uh, Jessica catches up with her eventually and says, what the hell's going on? And then she tells her the story about how she had a lesbian experience once before when they were... Uh, teenagers, I guess, with somebody else named Amanda. She kind of felt guilty about it all these years. I guess, I don't know. So she feels guilty about this too. I don't know. It seems like there's some sort of guilt going on that she's done this, but you'd think the uh, prostitution would have been more guilty because she actually did participate in prostitution uh, uh, prior to this happening because she needed some money and she went out on, on a date, double date with uh, Julie. So, but anyway, um, Jessica said, look, we did it. It's no big deal. I didn't, I didn't do you. You didn't do me. It's just no big deal. Just forget about it. So anyway, life goes on. Next day, uh, Jessica gets uh, another date. She's actually going to fly out to Las Vegas. And Julie says, you know, take your time. Take, keep a couple extra days if you want, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then as soon as she leaves, Julie decides to pack up. And she gets going back to Indiana. And that's the end of our movie. So anyway, it, it is actually a pretty decent drama. Uh, like I said, it's got a, some good, very good nudity in it. If you're looking for celebrity nudity, you're going to find it here. I think this was Marta Christen's only nude scene she ever did. Uh, the other actress, Kathy Kerr, she actually had a handful of roles in the 60s in the early 70s um, and then all of a sudden she just disappeared this was the last movie she did it did nothing else after that at least to date anyway so anyway this movie is not available on dvd it wasn't a pre-recorded vhs tape which i have put up by unicorn video which is uh where i got this box art from i burned the dvd myself and made some handy dandy box art using the actual images from the box but it's a good movie so check it out see if you can track it down somewhere um it's called a gemini affair let me know what you think about it leave some comments down below watch it bye